Hello guys, Deb here with Craft Around the Clock. <laughs> Actually, Deb here with Art and Grace. This is my portion of Craft Around the Clock. That's what I meant to say. How are you guys doing? Come on in. I'm getting this pulled up on the iPad, but while I am, just say hi to me. Let me know you're here. <coughs> Excuse me, I love to go back and see who is here watching live. It's always fun to know. You guys, hopefully you're having a good day and you can, I was hoping you guys could take a little break. This is a great part of the day to take a break and join in the fun. Hello, Tracy, how are you today? I'm gonna see if this will let me flip my camera. Sometimes it does and sometimes it does. There it did. Oh good, I'm so glad. Okay, we're good to go. Sorry that I'm a minute late. Hi, Andrea. Glad y'all are here. I'm going to really need y'all's help because I did forget to send out my telegram. So nobody knows I'm live. So if you guys would be able to help me, that would be fantastic. Getting the word out. I appreciate you guys. We've got a fun craft today. So I don't know how many of you have been watching all day. Hi, Michelle. Glad you're here. Um, but I was watching a couple earlier and I found a new crafter to me. Now, many of y'all probably already know and follow her, but it's Crafting in Grace or Craft in Grace. So y'all let me know if you already follow her. Hi, Donna. Glad y'all are here. Hi, Patty. So she is a fellow craft around the clock sister that I have just not met yet, didn't know about, but I took time to watch this morning or earlier and really enjoyed her segment. And I totally changed what I'm making based on her tutorial. So if you didn't get to see it, go back and watch. It's Craft in Grace. And um, you guys will be really glad you did. She's a sweet soul. And she talked a little bit about her experience and her family's experience with her brother serving in the military and the struggles that he had afterwards. So she did a Valentine craft that was a little, um, what I'd call patriotic or, you know, on that line. Hi, Arla. I hope you're having a good day, my friend. So guys, I was so moved by her a segment that I was like, I agree. We've got we've to celebrate and, and say thank you and and Valentine's Day is not just about couples, okay? So, yes, if we've been married and or you're dating and, you know, you want to do that, that's absolutely great, and I always do. But after watching her segment, it moved me to think of Valentine's Day outside the box. We've got people who can't have children. We have people who've lost their parents. We have people who um, are, you know, single, not by choice, all kinds of things. So let's think outside the box today. And since she helped me, and her name's Deb also, since she helped me to think outside the box, hopefully I can help you guys think outside the box and think of all the cool things we can create for Valentine's Day that don't really have anything to do with a spouse or whatever. So let's spread the love, you know, regardless of your situation, you know, think outside the box and see what we can come up with. Hi, Patty. You are following her. Hi. Um, I'm so glad, Stephanie, that I got to see her this morning. And like I said, I totally changed what I'm making today. Your bracelets. Oh, I love them. Thank you, Karen. My sweet son's girlfriend gets them for me. These I made, the gray ones, but um, these all came from, hold on, Little Words Projects. And the funny thing, she got me this one this Christmas that says, hold please, because I always say hold please. Hi, Gloria. So Little Words Projects is where they came from. So let me show you um, this little template that I made. This is what we were going to do, and it's for a banner that I want to make. And so we've got lots of lace and ribbon and our little angel that I've cut out and put some diamond dust on. We put a little bling up here and just strung it on some ribbon. And I was going to do a whole banner of these or, you know, like all across my back there. Focus on the love of our father. Yes, that's wonderful, Nicole. A hundred percent because we don't have love without him. Not really. And we, we already struggle at loving each other the way we should, right? So you're 100% right, I agree. Hi, Dina, glad you're here, my friend. I've got something in the mail to you today. Um, hello, Mary, glad y'all are here. Oh, you, I know you do, I know you do, Steph. I've heard you say it too, that cracks me up. 
So um, let's make this one a little more thinking about servicemen and women and just make it a little, I guess, patriotic because I've pulled a bunch of red, white, and blue kind of things and I pulled my red rick rack. And so this can go either, you know, if you want to kind of go the patriotic lane or if you just want to, my plan is to send this to Deb. So hopefully she's not on here watching, but I doubt it because I don't think she knows me either. But um, anyway, so send one to somebody that you think of or that God puts on your heart, you know, make something and send to them. So here we go. So anyway, I bought these at Michael's. They came in a whole pack, like it's a banner kit. And you know, like that's why I was gonna make the whole the whole thing of them. So I'm not sure if I'll keep doing that or what. But anyway, so first thing I'm gonna do, oh, this also came from Amazon and they had a pack like this. I'll just kind of flip through and show you. Super cute little vintage designs. I know a lot of you guys are really into the rustic and the grungy and all that. So you could do a lot. That's a really good one. You could do a lot with this pack. Um, so let's get started and see what we can come up with. Yes, crafting in, oh, is it crafting in grace? I wrote craft in grace, but I could be wrong. Dina, I did. I said something to you. Did you not see it? Maybe I need to, see. maybe it wasn't in an inbox. Maybe it was on a post and I thought you saw it, but um, I'll message you when I'm done. So I'm going to cut out this little girl. We're going to embellish her for the base of this little banner piece. I know they're really cute, aren't they? Hi, Sheila. Hi, Trisha. Hi, Becky. Thank you guys for sprinkling me out because like I said, I failed to send my telegram. And, um, you know, telegram is great in ways, but it's in some ways, I, it's a challenge for me. And y'all can let me know, are you challenged or do you see the notifications? Because I feel like I never see them unless I go to the app and look because I think I usually have my notifications silenced or something. So y'all let me know how you feel about it. Do y'all use Telegram, like Telegram? It's really just the best option for most of us. Um, unless you've got a, a great budget, then you can do one of the paid tech services, which is what I would love to have, but not yet. Maybe someday. Those are so much more personal and, and I really like those better, but working with what we have, right? So... You love Telegram, awesome, okay. I just need to get used to using it. So it is Crafting and Grace, okay, well good. I'm glad that I found her and she is such a sweet person and a sweetheart. So, you know, that's the thing about, and I've said that I probably sound like a broken record, but you know, when you can have the time to go around and just check people out, you'll be amazed at what you find. And I always say, don't judge somebody on one time because, you know, for one thing, they could be having a bad day if you don't like what they did. But also, most crafters are multifaceted. You know, we don't do just one thing. So if you don't love this, I mean, that's okay because I don't typically do a lot of crafts. I typically paint. So you come back again and you try again and you know, just give people a chance. But anyway, it's fun to meet new people and, and get inspired. So first time watched her and I got inspired. So that's just how it works. And I think it's such a cool, cool crafting community. And we are having an event this weekend and I'm super excited about it. Winter, uh, winter, I don't wanna say it wrong. Stephanie, help me. <laughs> Um, is it Winter Wonderland? I'm afraid that I'm going to say it wrong, and I don't want to do that. It was Yes, it was, Andrea. That's how I found out about it. We are in a group together, and I knew that it was, so I was like, oh, yeah, I've never, I don't know her, but I'm going to go check her out, and that's, that's it. You know, you almost can always find things that inspire you from somebody you don't even know. And maybe if it's, oh, I just cut her little foot, but I think I can fix that. Let's get some tape. We've There are no crafting emergencies. We're just gonna fix her up with a little tape. 
let's see. I, I, you always get them, and you don't. Okay, Veronica, that's good. Yeah, Facebook is not my favorite for sure. Woodland Winter. I knew it was Woodland. I was like, Winter Wonderland? That doesn't sound right. Thank you. So, I'm super excited about that. And Stephanie, I don't know if you have the link to that group, if you want to put the chuffed berry or, or whatever you want me to link, I'm happy to link it. It will be live, you know, you'll be able to see all of the creators, both Friday and Saturday, both uh, in the chuffed berry group and in craft around the clock group. Thank you for sprinkling, Patty. And um, so lots of places you'll be able to catch us. So if you miss somebody, you can watch the replays. That's always great. So we're starting with this base. And so I'm just kind of getting my, my bearings on measurement and see how much I want to do. Let's see here. Let's, let's pin this for a second. Pin comment. So you guys, if you're not familiar with that group that I just pinned, you're going to want to get in it. I have not been in it long, and I'm so amazed at the talent that's in there, and um, and the sweet ladies, I believe. I don't know if there's any gentlemen. I've only seen ladies so far, but, you know, really talented people, and you get inspiration by just going and looking in the group. So, get inspired, and then look at your craft supply and see what you have that you can work with, and and then share it, share it back in the group so that we can all see it and get inspired again, you know. So let's kind of start with this. Now I may not use it all and I may cut some of it, but I've got some fabric scraps. I'm just gonna kind of think here. I definitely wanna give her a different dress because this is all about layers and fun, right? Um, and I loved this fabric, so I'm gonna look at this. This Justin sent me and I've never used it, but it's so it's got so many cool pieces to it. And see, I'm already seeing like flag. Um, I'm seeing what stands out to me. I don't know. Let's try this piece. I hate cutting fabric because I'm always like, I may, I may cut it too big or too small. And, but I'm just going to kind of go with this for now and cut it. This is whimsical. Everything I do is whimsical. doesn't have to be perfect. So you see how I'm cutting. Not, not worried about it. doesn't have to be super neat and even. So I've got this. And I probably want to use some, ri uh, yes, ribbon. I've got Rick Rack. That's what I thought I would use. And then I've got my lace. So let's kind of start building it up. And the first thing I'm going to do, I actually think I want another strip. You guys, I hope that you will be patient. I will have to go back and look at your comments because as you can see, I'm kind of gonna have to hurry to get this done. But I do want you to comment and ask questions. If you need to know something, I'll go back and tell you. If for any reason you ever ask me and I don't answer you, you message me. It just means that I didn't see it, you know, because I would never ignore somebody. Um, but sometimes we don't always see all the comments or sometimes we get so busy and don't go back like we think we're going, going to to answer questions and things. Okay, so we're just going to start with a line of hot glue and I'm just starting. You know, that's the best way to get going. I love this tattered part here, so we're going to put that. Now, you can be really intentional if you want to with yours. So when you're doing it, you know, you might want to, you know, take some ink and and ink up your edges or paint the background. You can do that. I've done that before, but for now, I'm just going to kind of start playing with it. This is kind of like mixed media, just adding textures and adding whatever you have, but it's a great way to use your scraps. So I always say, don't throw anything away. Keep it. I think I want a larger one for this piece. Keep it and see what you can do with the scraps. So if you only have a few inches of lace, please don't throw it away because <laughs> you'll find something to use it for. Oh, let's quickly, Amazon link for the vintage. Yes, I do, Steph. Um, let's see, it, it will be on my purchases. So when I get done, I can go find it and, um, and give it to you guys. Happy to share. Just got it on Amazon, but um, I was real pleased with the things I got. You know, sometimes you don't know if it's gonna be as cute as the picture or whatever. 
Let's do this Rick Rack. I love Rick Rack when I can use it. Now, Rick Rack may not look so vintage, but I, I just tend to do what I like. And then you know that you can do how you like. So if you don't like the Rick Rack, don't do it, obviously. You use something else, but I like it. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. Kathy, I am making a little banner piece. So this was my first one, and this is what I was going to show you. But I was inspired by Crafting in Grace. Uh, she's a, a new crafter to Craft Around the Clock. With She did something um, patriotic, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word, but, you know, um, honoring servicemen and women. And, and I, I just, it was a great live. You know, it was her first one for the group, so she was probably a little nervous, but she did so good and told some stories that were touching. And, you know, that's the thing. You kind of get to know people when you can watch their lives. And, and um, hi, Deborah. Splash of pink by Deborah. How are you today? And so, anyway, I, am, I changed my little plan here. That may be enough because once she has her dress on, that's going to take up a lot more room. So all I've done is hot glue. This this banner kit came from Michael's, and then I'm just hot gluing the ribbon along the bottom. And then I'm going to use this little girl, but I'm going to give her a dress with fabric. So let's see what we want to do. I mean, give me a minute while I kind of see the length and things, but if I just gather it up and hot glue it up here, do you see how it kind of forms into a little dress on its own? And so we could cut it to where her shoes show. Let's do that. Hopefully I can get about the right length. Rick Rack Vintage. Okay, good. Thank you, Chris, for sprinkling. Chris, I'm so glad you're here and you came to the class last night. We had fun. I had fun. I hope y'all did. But I taught, you know, how to choose a word of the year. And I, I told everybody, even if you've chosen a word of the year, it's not a bad idea to take that class uh, because what do y'all think that took it? I think that you realize how important the word of the year can be when you use it all year long and you keep going back to it and make sure that every decision you make is going to align with your values, your goals, um, you know, what's important to your family and, and yourself. Okay, let's see. Let me turn this toward me a second and see if I can kind of get this how I want it. But if you were in the class, you can be honest and let people know if it's worth it or if it's not. Okay, let's see. So the dress, that's going to give me not enough blue. I'm going to cut this. I know what I need to do. I need to cut this red off up here. Hold, please, while I do that. Need to take your class, your word is, well, Linda Sue, you are free. You get to just go on in there since you're in my private group. Don't pay, just, you know, go into the group. I've got the link in the VIP group for you. And you can go on in there and just take it at your convenience. There's a workbook you can print or you can just look at it and use and then write down things. But it's, it's probably really helpful if you print at least the worksheets that are in it. Okay, so I'm gathering this top. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Gathering the top all along here. And then I am going to carefully hot glue. You could run a stitch. That would be probably really ideal. But who has time for that needle and thread? I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it here. And I'm, see, that's why I say, don't worry, I'm gonna be careful and put just a dot of hot glue in between these pleats. Should hold it fine. Not very much fabric here to worry about. So just a little pinch. I'm being very careful. Just holding it here a minute. And we've got our little dress. Hi, Virginia from Florida. What's your temperature today? Yesterday it was like 70, sunny. It, I felt like I was on spring break. It was just beautiful. Jeanette, how are you, girl? Hi, Earlene. That's okay. I hope you're okay and not sick. 
Oh, that is so great, Chris. I love hearing that. Hold, oh, please. I got my bracelet on, April. Y'all say hi to April. Okay. So, she's the one that gets me my bracelets, and I just love them. I get so many compliments. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this on my girl. Kind of putting it over where the paper dress is. Now, you can totally, and I probably will, I might take what she has on. I might cut that off. Let's do that. So let's come in here and take this part of the dress off so it doesn't show, right? Or at least some of it. I'm gonna take some of it like this. Because I didn't want that sticking out. So now you'll see her legs, but you won't see the dress dress part. I'll leave her arm. Don't worry, I'm not gonna cut her arm off. Okay, so there we go. I feel like I'm playing with paper dolls. So you can find fabric that you love that maybe has a vintage feel. Um, lace is always pretty to use, but then let's do some fun things to her hair. And we could even do something to her bow. So hair and bow. Um, I'm thinking what I want to do. We could do diamond dust to the bow. Why don't we do that? We love diamond dust. You can customize it. Yes. Yes. Thank you, April. I love it. Love it. Love it. And the next thing I'm going to get, I want to get one with my word of the year. Okay. April, you and Austin should do my little class. You should make him sit down and do it with you. I'm serious. <laughs> I know he won't want to, but tell him, do it for your mom. Um, Y'all tell her if you got value out of it. But because I think, you know, that we just, we just pick a word that resonates with us. But if you want to reach your goals, you've got to be super intentional. That is something that I have really come to find out. Like, you've got to be intentional about all your decisions. Okay, diamond dust in the bow. Hi, Patty. Good to see you this morning or the today afternoon. I don't know, I always say this morning. I don't know why. I think because I'm a night owl and I stay up really late and I sleep later than most. And so I'm just. My happy hour is like 9 p.m. I'm like good to go. Pat. Okay, let's do her hair. We'll put a little like gold highlights or something. This is Craft Twinkles that I'm using. And if you like glitter, but you don't want any of the mess, like what I just had to shake off, Craft Twinkles are a great option. And just grab any brush. This won't ruin your brushes, but I do um, wash them out good when I'm done. And we'll just put some gold in her hair, make her shiny. This is like a personalized Valentine, right? So, you know, you could find some design. You could even print something like this off of the computer and decoupage it onto cardboard. You know, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to buy really anything. You can use what you have and then give this to somebody. They will, they'd be so happy because it's better than a card. You know, a card we typically put in a drawer but this, they would hang up or, or keep out so they could see it. And that would be so nice. You're a night owl too? Yeah. I know. Stephanie, it's just when the house is quiet, it's so nice to work. When I say work, I mean craft or whatever, you know, you need to do. And so, yeah. I need to do better on cutting her shoe. I really didn't cut that very well. Okay, and of course, you know, I don't know if I wanna do anything more to it. 
you could, you could, I mean, you could do a lot. So take a tiny piece of something and, and glue onto the bottom, like maybe some cork and then stamp it with gray or black, you know, or get some ink on there. Like you could do a lot with this to really make it 3D. But I think I talked too much to, um, to go to that kind of length right now. Let's see. Yeah. Hello, hello, the paper dolls. You know, that's the thing. I ordered these from Amazon. They're just, it's like for a banner. You can make a banner out of them. And I had always thought I'd probably do something different like cut or embellish or something. Um, and so this is what I was gonna teach y'all today using one. And I'll just show y'all up close because I think this, this is just taking leftover. So I have, this is just what I just started today, but I have a little, thing of leftover scraps of fabric and ribbon and I know people are like oh you're a hoarder but it's because I pull something out and that's what I used for these you just use a piece of your ribbon that you didn't finish on something else and a little piece of fabric and that made a little rosette and I put a little totally da da totally dazzled this is just ribbon glued on and then this is the little girl I cut out added the the glitter to her hair, added diamond dust to her wings, bunched up ribbon for the dress, and then my plan, and I don't know if I'll do, I just don't know yet, because now I'm thinking of a different thing, but I might keep on going and make a bunch of these for a banner that hangs behind me. So that's what I was going to show you, but we decided to take it down a little patriotic road because I was so inspired by Crafting with Grace this morning. You've got your fire glass, awesome. Let me know if you need help. I love that some of you guys are trying um, resin art. It's so fun. Hi, Mary Beth. Um, actually, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's keep going. I think it might need more. I mean, it, usually things do need more. Like, let's keep going. Let me just kind of see if I like this ribbon around the edges. Or if I like the Rick Rack. Oh, I like the Rick Rack. Do y'all? I, I don't know why. I just think it's fun. And I, honestly, I think it's kind of Valentine's -y. I'm going to use the Rick Rack. I hope that y'all like it. Because I know some people don't like Rick Rack. And I don't know. I just do. I did. I did. I will give y'all the link when I'm done. Because um, I just got them in like a couple of days ago. So I will. Let me see how I'm gonna have her up high maybe like that. So I will just take her off and go ahead and start kind of gluing my rig rack around this edge. This couldn't be any easier and yeah, I think it's, like I said, I think it's so much cuter than a card. And it's something that people want to hang up. And, you know, we need to be hanging things up around us that make us happy, make us smile. Pretty things or fun, happy things. I'm big on words, so do we're going to do something with our word of the year later today. And, you know, put that up and... Just having some visual things around is nice. By having this end up here at the top, I can cover it with that girl. So there's our Rick Rack. Let's lay her back on top and see what we think. I think the red is a little different than that, which is, I'm not loving that part. Let's just see. Do you, okay, good. See, I love that too. I love vintage and I'm not a grunger, you know, but I love you girls that are doing it. I love it. And I think, you know, like when you look at Tracy Campbell and you look behind her at her cupboard or her shelves, it's just like, that is amazing. It's not my style, but I love it. And I think it's great. Um, so yeah. Uh, I, def I mean, watch me. I'll probably start doing it and y'all will be like, I thought you didn't like that. <laughs> no, it's not that I don't like it. It's just not 
me, I guess. You know, I gotta do what's me. But I do love it that it's you. So I'm just thinking, 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 y'all, because I don't know that I love, I love this thick one. What do y'all think? Does it need something else? Or maybe it needs, you know what, it might need some pearls along it. Let me just play with that for a second. I can't play too long. But we could hot glue pearls on. Oh, that might be sweet. What do y'all think of hot gluing some pearls along the side? Oh dear. Decisions, decisions. This is, mixed media can be so messy, for me anyway, because I wanna get out all the things and have everything that I might possibly need. Hi, Laura from Australia. Yes, patriotic. Hi, Sherry, how are you doing, dear? Hope that you are okay and your family's doing okay. Just getting out some pearls. I wanted to see what y'all thought of that. Anybody? Pearls would look nice. Oh, thanks, Raylene. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of put a couple down if I can get them to stay and see. Because I don't want to commit until I can kind of get a better. I'm looking at my iPad to see if I can see. In a perfect world, I'd have a little more time to decide what I want to do and kind of play with it. I don't know if I love it, but I can't. What do y'all think? Very pretty, thanks. Okay, y'all send up some votes. Either, nah, not loving it, or yes, do it. Hmm. <laughs> Terry, you should. They're not expensive. They're not bad at all. I will give y'all the link when I'm done. Um, let me look back one more time at this. Oh, see, that's what I need. I need something that goes in. Okay, let me put her down for a second. I needed something that goes in like that. See how it kind of covers part of it? That's what I was needing. So, let me think if I can make that work. I don't know that I can. So I think it will either hang off or this needed to be scalloped as well. That's the issue. Okay, let, let me think a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not done. I'm not giving up on this. Because what if we put them together and did that? Let me just, let me just hold please while I see if I can make this work. I don't know if I can, especially in this time frame. But see, mixed media, I get to going and I'll be here for another two hours playing around. Anything that involves just lots of paper and usually I do paint with it as well, but. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attach this. I can always take it off, I guess, if I don't like it. I'm going to attach it right to the edge. But I think I'm going to like it, and I hope you guys do. It's always a risk if we kind of just go for it here. I'm not going to let you see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of get it and see what I think. Because if I hate it, I'm going to rip it off real fast. I think I like it. Let me just, let me just see. <laughs> Hold, please. Okay, Pick, picture the rest of it done. Do you like it around there like that? I kind of do. Kind of keep going around like so. I think we've committed. Patty, hello, girl. These are from Amazon, and everybody's asking, so I, I'm sorry I didn't even think that y'all, I don't know why I didn't think, but I will get y'all the link as soon as I'm done to the ones that I bought. They came quick. You know how sometimes their stuff is getting slower to get to us, but this came quick and is exactly as it's pictured, so I was happy. I'm afraid to look at the clock. Okay, we're, we're okay. Thank you. 
Thanks, Sheila. I'm always like, okay, let me know, let me know, let me know quick. I like you guys to give your opinions. Just makes it fun. It's like y'all are here with me and we can converse. So this is all, by putting these together, it's given me a scalloped edge on both sides, which is what I needed or wanted. Let me start down here at the base. So this part will be clean. So this, let's think about other things we could do, you know, like this will be super sweet for some people, but you could do ballerinas, you could do, um, you know, if you're wanting to give one to a boy, but you like this concept, they definitely have boy ones in the pack. I cut that too short. So we'll have to put something right there, um, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. Maybe that girl's, he oh, her head will cover it. So that's perfect. Okay. So I'm going to take this corner. See how that's straight? I didn't, that one's straight. I didn't like it. So I'm angling, just cutting it at an angle to come up like so. Hopefully I got those somewhat the same. And then we will glue her on now that we kind of have everything the way we like it. I'm gonna probably see, I will cover that little spot with her head and that will be perfect. What do we think? Y'all like it? <laughs> oh yeah, shabby chic, yes. Hi Kim, Sugar in the South, how are you today? Oh good, y'all like the ribbon and the rick rack together. I'm glad, because that's, you don't really see that very often, I guess. Okay, I'm, I'm committing. I'm going to put her down. Just like so. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So, any other embellishments? So, I've got, um, oh, I didn't end up making her an angel, but while I was, I was trying to find a halo, and I was looking through all my ribbon, and, or all my wire, and I have all kind of wire, but not gold. I have black, I have silver, I have red, but I didn't have gold. So, then I was like, I wonder if I can make a halo with this ribbon, and I was looking at it, and guys, here's, here's a little trick for you. This little tip is free today. So what I was gonna do, and I'm just gonna do one so you'll see, I'm cutting this strip of, this is just a little piece of leftover ribbon, and just, this is the wired edge. You just make it into your little halo. So you could have a little halo from just the wired edge of your ribbon. So something you were gonna, this is what I had left. Something I would have thrown away, you know? That's why I have these little scrap jars where I'm like, well, there'll be a use for that. <laughs> now, if something happens to me, you know they're coming in here and they are hire, they're gonna hire the company that comes and just comes and shoves it all in the, what do you call it? Five minutes, shoves it all in the dumpster and it's, it's out. Let's see, I don't know how to make a little flower with the rickrack. That would be kind of cute to have a little rosebud down here with that rickrack. And I'm sure there's a way we could put a little piece. Oh, let's put a little piece for her trim of her little dress there. We could even put it at the bottom, y'all. Is that too much and not quite the right red? What do y'all think? I don't think it's half bad. What do y'all think? I kind of like it for the trim of her dress. Might as well. So we gotta enjoy it while we have it, right? That's okay. I mean, 
I'll say, would you rather me just have to buy things when I need them or just, you know, at least I've got what I need because I keep things. You know, if you're not a crafter, you don't get it. One of those things where if you know, you know, you know that phrase? <laughs> if you know, you know. Oh, thank you. I do have stickles, Mary. For what? What do you want me to put them on? I used them on her. No, I used the stickles. Did I use them on her or the other girl? I used stickles on her hair. Can y'all see that? Stickles will add the glitter with like a clear acrylic paint with it. So it, I love them. And oh, I did, I did use them on her hair. I forgot that I used them on this one. Yes, they're there. But what were you thinking? Um, and then a little tiny piece up here around her neck. I mean, I definitely had these kind of little dresses when I was young with a little rick rack. You could add sequins, guys. Look around your craft stash and see what you have. And you can make these in all kinds of ways and in your style, you know, with what you like. I need a tiny trim here. What do y'all think? And then to hang her, of course, you can use your ribbon if you've got enough. Um, just feed it through, or you could use the Rick Rack, or I have some red jute that would be cute also. I'm gonna look and see if I like this and see how, how this looks. Thank you, Cynthia. I'm so glad y'all are here today. I really love being on Craft Around the Clock and um, hope that if you're not following me, you'll give me a follow and see all the other things I do because this is um, not my typical, I typically paint. So you can hang it with ribbon and make a whole banner of these. Uh, Rick Rack, like I said, the red jute, whatever you have, just use what you have. And then here's the other one that's more, this is more probably my style, but well, of course it is my style, but, um, but this other one will be going to a friend. And so we're doing this in honor of Deb and her page is Crafting with Grace. If you don't already follow her, today was her first day on Craft Around the Clock. So I thought it would be fun to, um, well, actually I was so inspired by what she did that was sort of patriotic. And so we're going to send this to her and welcome her to the family Thank you guys. I'm so glad y'all were here. I'll be on again. Um, let's see. I've got to go into the private group later. So yeah, I won't be back on live today, but hopefully you'll join me for sure on Friday for the event. Go down to the link that's down pinned below to Shuftberry Shuft Shuft, Shuft Circle. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. And then also it will be streamed in Craft Around the Clock. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll put links for what I use today if you would like those. Thanks guys. Love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.